Hello folks, John here from Gamekeeper Catapults. This is a quick video to show you all how easy it is to make your own powerful hunting catapult out of natural wood. OK folks, you've pulled your catapult into what position you want it. You've stripped the bark off, you've left it on the radiator to dry overnight. Then you quite simply mark it to whichever size you require. I've done this for my hands. Then simply saw off. So here we go folks, now it's cut out. As you can see, it's not perfectly symmetrical yet. It's still a bit rough round here. What I use to bring mine into shape is the Dremel with a little rotary sander in. If you haven't got one of these, you could also carve it into whichever shape you wish with a Stanley knife. Then simply sand smooth. OK folks, so I've evened it out with a Dremel. As I say, you could have done that with a standing knife in less than a couple of minutes. I've given it a quick rub bit of sandpaper. Now we have a very nice even ash fork. Very smooth. Just going to show you how to convert the tops now ready for fitment to flat bands. If you don't want to fit flat bands on it, you want to use tubing or square elastic, don't do it this way. Simply to fit tubing or square elastic, you simply drill some holes through and round the tops off to suit. OK then folks. What I'm doing is I'm ever so slightly rounding the tops off. I'm only doing this slightly. Just like so. Okay then folks, as you can see, the tops have been rounded. You must make sure these are sanded smooth, otherwise they'll tear your elastic. I have two marks on each fork with a pen. This is where I'll be putting the groove in to bind your ferroband elastic on. What I use for that it's a little Dremel sander, in like so. You don't have to use one of these, as I say, you can make this catapult with no tools at all. You could just use a standing knife or even a round foil just to get your groove in. OK folks, as you can see, I have the gaps here to bind the ferroband on. Now all I'm going to do is give it a quick sand, making sure there's no rough edges. OK folks, so you've finished the grooves in the top fitment to flat bands. As I say, if you want to fit tubing or circular elastic, you don't do it this way. You don't do the groove like I've just done. You drill it all through, around a 5-6mm hole, pull your elastic through and do it that way. This one is for flat bands. So once you've got your catapult looking something like this, give it all a good sand, so to make sure there's no rough edges anywhere, as this one is really smooth all over now. A very nice shaped catapult. Then what I do with mine, is I bake mine in the oven for around 15 minutes, on around 150 to 175 degrees. This strengthens it, makes the wood harder, and also brings out a very nice colour. You could, I suppose you could paint it, stain it, do whatever you want, but I really do prefer to put mine in the oven. So I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. I got this catapult out of the oven last night and I've since coated it in yacht varnish. I use yacht varnish as it's waterproof and watertight. Doesn't let any damp get to the catapult. Also brings out a lovely shine. All my catapults are built with hunting in mind. That's why I use the powerful spans I can get on them. Also as small as possible to slip into the pocket. You see some catapults on YouTube that are homemade where each fork must be 6-7 inches long, no, no chance of fitting those in the pocket, you need a rucksack to carry those about. And so size doesn't matter when it comes to catapults. <laughs> I have a design from the Gamekeeper range called the Pocket Rocket, which is only around 4.5 inches long, and that's the powerfulest catapult available. comes with treble ferroband gold, so size really doesn't matter. Please view my other videos to see a review on that catapult. All I've got to do now is attach the bands. I'm going to use double ferroband gold on this one. I could use treble if I wish, but I'll use double for now. Um, you can fit treble on these quite easily, as natural forks are really, really strong. Much stronger than any board cut catapult as they grow that way. Really strong catapults, these. If you want to know how to fit ferroband onto the catapult, please view my other videos. I have a video just on ferroband, how to make pouches, attach it to the catapult, etc. It is now complete and kitted out with double ferroband gold. Very, very powerful elastic this. Please view my other videos if you want to know how to fit ferroband gold. 
very powerful little catapult this really nice I hope this video was helpful for all those who want to know how to make their own as I said my catapults are built with wanting in mind pocket size and powerful so thanks for watching bye